While the air is being filled with the warm smell of nectar and clouds of yellow dust, spring is more and more reaching its flowery peak. When I was asked to make the window painting for Easter from the last video, they also asked me to make a painting for spring. Also for this painting, I made some sketches in preparation. I started with taping off the borders and protect the window frame from paint with plastic. Then I applied a base layer of white acrylic paint. You can find some additional information about the used materials and techniques in the description below. On the base layer I first applied some very basic reference lines to indicate where the center of the window was and how high I wanted certain parts of the drawing to reach. From there I started sketching. When certain big surfaces need to be painted in a uniform color, I always mix some extra paint and store it in a jar for possible extra layers or later corrections. I covered up the flowers and other parts of the painting with painter's tape or paper and spray glue so that I could work on the background without really minding where I was painting. When I wanted the paint to dry faster, I used a heat gun. I was not so happy with the color that I created, so I tried to change it with another layer. But it was getting late, so time to go home and look at my lazy rabbit. Going back to the sketch helps finding what you don't like about what you've painted so far. In my case it was the tones of green that I wanted to change.
then finally came the moment that I could start painting the spring flowers. I start with a layer of base color and then build up the shadows followed by light colors. Like this I achieved the final effect that I liked. With the tulips I did something similar, but sometimes on a different order depending on which color I already mixed on my palette for the narcissus. To finish off, I did a lettering. Taking off the painter's tape was less satisfying than it should have been. Because of the heat of the sun, the painter's tape got stuck to the plastic of the window frame. Since I still had some nice light for filming, I removed what I could remove by hand. Later, after I filmed the final shots, I came in with a piece of cloth and sticker remover to remove the remaining parts of the painter's tape and glue residue. And here you have the final result. I definitely learned that painting humans that are almost bigger than me in surface can be pretty tricky when I don't have a projector to help me with the proportions. I really had fun doing these projects though. I wish all of you a lovely day and hope that you've been enjoying the beautiful spring flowers as much as I have. Thank you for watching, and I see you again next time.